This is a 2012 Mac Mini. This is a 2020 MacBook Pro. And to the average user, these are gonna be very, very similar with everyday use. Let's get into it. So the one thing that Apple does very, very well is their hardware lasts a long, long time. This is a 2012 Mac Mini. It's got the 8 gigs of RAM, i5, you name it, SSD drive. This thing also has the newest OS on it right now. Well, you know, Catalina. So it's gonna have the newest OS that's running, 2012. It might be the last iteration, but it still runs that same exact experience. So this system, being eight years old, runs very, very similar to this one. So what I want to do today is I want to go through some tests. I want to show people, unless you're a video editor, you know, using, running Xcode, you're a music producer, or you're just someone on YouTube like me that has to buy some of the newer stuff and then I sell it because, you know, I'm doing my videos, you know, you may not need this. You may want to get something like that. And the difference could be thousands of dollars. For instance, you know, this could be anywhere from $1,300 up to, you know, a couple thousand dollars where you can pick up one of these right now, an i5 model for like 275 bucks. The coronavirus has changed it a little bit, but they're still pretty cheap. So this is a 2012. Now granted, the OS is gonna change soon, but right now they're running the exact same OS. The experience as far as, you know, obviously this is a laptop, this is a, more of a desktop, you have to have a monitor for this. But the experiences once you log in is very similar. Um, in fact, they're exact, they're running the same OS. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna run some tests for everyone to see. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a split screen and I'm gonna do some things like, I'm gonna boot this up and boot this up and you know what boots up faster. This is running eight gigs of RAM SSD. Uh, this is running eight gigs of RAM SSD. Two different chips, way, way older, this one. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty much, what, eight years difference, but, but the boot up time, let's see what the difference is. Then I'm gonna run some applications and see side by side what's the difference in time for them to boot up. You know, running, you know, a Chrome browser, running Safari, running things like that. Do a split screen so you can see the difference. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to ask everyone, you know, if you're a mother at home or you're a father at home or whoever you are, and you're not running a music, you know, studio or something, is this what you need? Or is this what you need? I mean, the question is, is, you know, with the new Apple Silicon coming out soon, you know, is this really something that can hold you over for a year or two? That's the question I want to answer in this video, and let's get into it. I mean, this is what my channel is all about, saving money. And I really want to show people, stay tuned for it because it's coming up, side-by-side -side examples of, is this really faster than that? Let's find out. All right, so the first one's going to be restarting my system. So I was actually in the OS. I clicked Let's Restart at the same time on both systems. And let's see which one actually goes through the boot cycle faster. So they're both kind of struggling here. These both have SSDs in them. And uh, again, there's an eight year difference on them. You look at the right side, the MacBook Pro has got a little bit of an advantage. And uh, let's see, there it is. So there's the actual login screen. Now the other one's still loading, but you know, for the difference of maybe a couple thousand dollars, let's see here, maybe it's an extra eight, 10 seconds. There we go, eight or 10 seconds. All right, so this next test is gonna be loading Safari. I clicked them at the same time. You'll notice the one on the right loaded about literally a half of a second or a quarter second faster. Now I'm gonna go ahead and type in Yahoo. Of course, this depends on my typing speed of both sites here. So I'm a little bit slower on the left, but maybe two or three seconds. So there's two or three seconds worth all that money difference if you're just browsing the web. They both load pages, they both work good. Here's iMovie, we're gonna click at the same time. There it goes. Let's take, let's wait here and see which one comes up first. The one on the right just loaded, and then the one on the left. Maybe a second difference there, so if that matters to you, spend the extra 2,000. Here's a test on Keynote. I'm clicking them at the exact same time. Keynote's a kind of a graphics application. Let's go ahead, ooh, the one on the left actually loaded faster there. I think the one on the left actually beat the other computer. What do you guys think? And on this last test, we're gonna go ahead and do maps, and you get the gist of this. Look at that, they're so close together. The question is, unless you're doing video editing where you're editing a lot of videos, unless you're doing Xcode or a music producer, do you really need the extra power for just basic tasks like email and web browsing? I'll let you guys answer that after watching this video. All right, so what did you think? 
it's pretty eye-opening what you can do with the old system on a Mac. And that's the one thing Apple does really well. So you're going to get a lot of Apple haters out there. And again, I'm not, again, I always keep saying I'm not this Apple fanboy. I just happen to, you know, do my videos on that because I get a little more viewership. But I do like them. Obviously, I buy a lot of them. Uh, um, I like them. But I do have PCs as well. You can see I have a number of Apples. Um, but anyways, long story short, the one thing that I think they do well is their hardware lasts a long time. Experience is the same. You don't get all these changes. You don't get slowdowns as much as you do on PCs. PCs, you have to update more often. They're more expensive. Uh, they're they're less expensive, but you have to update them more often. Plus, they usually sell for you know pennies on a dollar. Where these systems, you know, you can sell them for, especially the newer ones, you know, for 70, 80 percent of what you bought them for. So there's some differences there. I mean, obviously the OS is completely different, and I tend to think PC is you know you can do more things with it on a PC like Windows than you can on Mac OS because Mac OS is kind of. It's, it's, you know, and I wouldn't say dumbed down, but it's basically going to, they make it easy for people. Um, you know, if you're more of a user, a power user or something like that, you might want a PC for various reasons. But, but at the end of the day, you can do a lot on a Mac if you know how to use it. And that's kind of what I wanted to show people is it's pretty eye-opening. I mean, do you really need to spend that money? Do you really need to spend as much as, you know, 1200 bucks, 1500 bucks, 3000 whatever you want to do? Or can you spend 250 and have the same experience? Right now you can. Is it going to change in the future for Apple? We're going to see with Apple Silicon. But anyways, you guys know my channel. Please uh, support my channel if you can and uh, hit the subscribe button if you can. Hit the like button. I make videos like this all the time. Mine are a little bit off the cuff. Hopefully, that uh, you know it's a little bit different than these, these you know, other ones you see online that are super professional. But anyways, if you can support me, I'll grow it and maybe get a little more professional. Talk to you soon.